This presentation will explore some of the new and dramatic improvements introduced in VMware's vSAN 8 Update 1. The introduction of vSAN 8 in September 2022 represented a significant milestone for VMware, as the new Express Storage architecture brings all new capabilities for our customers. We haven't stopped there. vSAN 8 Update 1 builds off the capabilities introduced in vSAN 8 and delivers more flexibility, efficiency, and performance to your data center. You'll find most of the new features and enhancements fall into three general categories, disaggregated storage, core platform enhancements, and simplified operations. Let's take a closer look at some of these features. Delivering storage in just one way isn't flexible enough for our customers and their use cases. This is one of the reasons we introduced HCI Mesh, VMware solution built into vSAN that allows customers to separate or disaggregate storage and compute resources. VMware is investing heavily in this effort, as you'll see with the new enhancements we've made in vSAN 8 Update 1. VMware HCI Mesh has proven to be a very robust and successful method for vSAN customers to share vSAN storage resources to others, such as vSAN clusters or compute-only clusters. In vSAN 8 Update 1, HCI Mesh is now compatible with the Express Storage architecture. Users will be able to mount remote vSAN data stores living in other vSAN clusters, and also use an ESA cluster as the external storage resource for a vSphere cluster. Support of HCI Mesh when using the ESA maintains the interoperability and ease of use our customers have grown to appreciate with HCI Mesh in vSAN's original storage architecture. Many of our customers who are interested in using the capabilities of HCI Mesh also have grown to rely on the site resilience capabilities of vSAN stretch clusters. In vSAN 8 Update 1, we've taken this feedback and introduced support for HCI Mesh when using vSAN stretch clusters powered by the vSAN original storage architecture. Not only will this support several stretch cluster configurations, but it will also be able to optimize the network paths, improving the performance capabilities of stretch cluster configurations. HCI Mesh introduces tremendous flexibility for data centers with ever-changing needs. Customers who have environments that are managed by multiple vCenter servers want to take advantage of HCI Mesh as well, and with vSAN 8 Update 1, they can. vSAN 8 Update 1 introduces the support for HCI Mesh to operate across environments using multiple vCenter servers when using the original storage architecture. This allows vSphere or vSAN clusters managed by one vCenter server to use the storage resources of a vSAN cluster managed by a completely different vCenter server. vSAN 8 Update 1 introduces several new enhancements to the core platform that deliver better performance, improved data durability, and all new levels of integration. Let's look at some of the enhancements that are new to just the vSAN Express storage architecture and other enhancements that apply to both architectures. A key part of the new vSAN Express storage architecture is our patented log structure file system, vSAN LFS. It allows the ESA to ingest writes quickly while preparing the data to be written in a space-efficient manner. The ESA in vSAN 8 Update 1 introduces a new adaptive write path that allows workloads using a large amount of writes or highly sequential writes to write the data in an alternate, optimized way. For each object that a VM writes to, the ESA will evaluate the characteristics of the writes and use its default write path or large IO write path accordingly. This adaptive write path will help streaming write workloads achieve higher throughput and lower latency. This new adaptive write path will also help drive down write amplification and CPU utilization for clusters powering many of these streaming write workloads. With vSAN Express Storage Architecture unlocking the capabilities of ultra-fast modern hardware, VMware wanted to look at more opportunities in the vSAN stack to deliver better performance. As a result of this faster data path in vSAN 8 Update 1, we've optimized the I.O. processing that occurs for each object residing on a vSAN ESA data store, increasing the performance per VMDK by up to 25%. Resource-intensive applications such as mission-critical VMs, VMs with large amounts of allocated virtual hardware resources, and other resource-intensive VMs may see substantial improvement in IOPS and throughput. With the ESA and vSAN 8 Update 1, we introduce another feature found in the original storage architecture to improve the durability of data during planned maintenance operations. In an ESA cluster, when a host enters maintenance mode using the Ensure Accessibility option, it allows vSAN to write all incremental updates to another host in addition to the host holding the object data in a stripe with parity. 
This helps ensure the durability of the changed data if additional hosts participating in the storage of that object fail while the host in maintenance mode remains offline. Durability components also allow vSAN to merge the updated data more quickly into the Stripe with parity, allowing clusters to regain the prescribed level of resilience more quickly during these maintenance activities. With vSAN 8 Update 1, we aim to make day-to-day -day operations easier for administrators. Many of our customers have wanted the need to store infrastructure supporting files like ISOs and VMware content libraries on a vSAN data store, like they would do in a data store provided by a storage array. vSAN 8 Update 1 now allows administrators to customize the size of the namespace objects. This allows administrators to store ISO files and VMware content libraries more easily. The size of the namespace object can be specified to meet the capacity requirements of their use, which improves the behavior of their previous use. This new flexibility is even used by some of vSAN's internal needs, such as logs for performance and troubleshooting. Performance, resilience, and flexibility mean less if a solution is not easy to operate. vSAN 8 Update 1 offers several new improvements that simplify the day-to-day -day operations by administrators, as well as introducing a few new enhancements to help VMware's global support team to resolve customer issues more quickly. Storage policies have always allowed vSAN administrators to prescribe specific levels of resilience and space efficiency for VMs powered by vSAN. With the express storage architecture in vSAN 8 Update 1, we're introducing a new optional cluster-specific default storage policy that will help administrators run their ESA clusters with the optimal level of resilience and efficiency. When the cluster feature is enabled, it'll create and assign a default storage policy that is specific to the cluster. Based on the type of cluster and the size of the cluster, it will determine the ideal level of failures to tolerate and data placement scheme. The Skyline Health in vSAN will use this to monitor and alert the administrator if the default storage policy is ideal or suboptimal, and guide the user to adjust the default policy that is optimal for the cluster size. As the cluster size changes, it will continually monitor and come up with potentially new recommendations to ensure that the optimal settings are in place. This guided approach will help ESA clusters ensure that they're configured in the most resilient, space-efficient way. Administrators responsible for the health and well-being of an environment have a lot to think about in vSAN 8 Update 1. VMware has developed an all-new Cluster Health Status and Troubleshooting Dashboard. It helps answer the basic questions of, is my cluster and the workloads it serves in a healthier state? And if not, how severe is the condition? It provides information that traditional health alerts alone cannot. For each vSAN cluster, the Skyline Health for vSAN will provide a quick at-a-glance score of the condition of a cluster, so an administrator can easily determine if all is good, and if not, how impactful any identified issues are. The new mechanism uses a sophisticated method of weighing triggered health checks and aligns them with common pillars of responsibility, such as data availability, performance, capacity, as well as efficiency and compliance. It then provides the most important, impactful triggered health findings in order of priority so an administrator can resolve issues quickly and easily. Time-based performance metrics are an important tool to determine if an environment is delivering the performance levels expected. The vSAN Performance Service has played an important role for vSAN administrators, but has been enhanced to deliver metrics that are more representative of the system behavior. Available in both the Express Storage Architecture and the Original Storage Architecture, the vSAN 8 Update 1 Performance Service now includes a real-time monitoring of performance metrics that collects and renders performance metrics at just a 30-second sampling interval. This marks a significant improvement over the 5-minute sampling rate used in previous implementations and will make monitoring and troubleshooting performance easier. The vSAN VM IO Trip Analyzer was a great addition when it was introduced in vSAN 7 Update 3 as it helped administrators identify the potential source of a performance bottleneck on VM workloads. In vSAN 8 Update 1, the VM IO Trip Analyzer has been enhanced to include a new scheduler mechanism. This enhancement will be ideal for environments where a VM has been identified as having a repeated, albeit temporary, performance issue. Customers will be able to schedule the VM IO Trip Analyzer to run on a VM at a specific time of day and a particular duration and frequency. The collected diagnostics data can be easily analyzed in the VM IO Trip Analyzer interface in vCenter Server. Ongoing improvements to vSAN also means ongoing improvements to PowerCLI, VMware's PowerShell snap-in for managing vSphere. 
In vSAN 8 Update 1, PowerCLI has been enhanced to support many of the new capabilities in both the vSAN Express storage architecture and the original storage architecture. Furthermore, new PowerCLI commands have been added to support existing vSAN cluster shutdown capabilities, as well as object format updates. These ongoing PowerCLI improvements in vSAN 8 Update 1 make vSAN easy to manage at scale and consistently through our popular PowerCLI interface. Customer satisfaction is paramount at VMware. vSAN 8 Update 1 introduces three improvements to help ensure important system data is readily available for use in troubleshooting issues. First, we improve the usability of our Performance for Support dashboard that can help show a wide variety of metrics quickly across hosts. Next, we've improved the space allocation for trace objects, the location that we store trace files so that VMware technical support teams can more accurately detect via logs what occurred in a cluster. And finally, we improved our network testing and health checks to provide more helpful information for both OSA and ESA cluster types. VMware remains focused on the needs of the developer, and with vSAN 8 Update 1, we offer new levels of performance, simplicity, and flexibility not only for the developers who consume the environment, but for the administrators responsible for the platform. VMware has continued to develop vSAN to provide a rich set of cloud-native storage capabilities. Containers powered by vSphere and vSAN can easily consume persistent storage in a manner that is agile for developers and administrators alike. With vSAN 8 Update 1, support of cloud-native storage comes to the vSAN Express storage architecture, this will allow customers to take advantage of all the capabilities that the ESA offers, such as improved performance and better efficiency for their cloud-native workloads. The ability to run cloud-native workloads on the vSAN ESA means that vSAN customers can easily advance their infrastructure to a next-generation platform while they're introducing next-generation workloads. In vSAN 7 Update 1, VMware introduced a new framework to simplify the deployment and operation of modern stateful applications that were built for cloud-native architectures. The vSAN Data Persistence Platform, or DPP, allows third-party ISVs to build solutions like S3-compatible object stores that can run directly on vSAN. vSAN 8 Update 1 lowers the barrier in cost and complexity by now making our DPP solutions compatible with a common VMware vSphere distributed switch. An environment will no longer be required to use VMware NSXT to support the network connectivity requirements by applications that use the DPP. This enhancement applies to both the vSAN OSA and the ESA for maximum flexibility. Enabling the developer is what cloud-native storage on vSAN and vSphere is about. With vSAN 8 Update 1, we've made an improvement to clusters running vSAN Direct Configuration, our special cluster configuration custom-tailored for cloud-native workloads. With vSAN 8 Update 1, persistent volumes can be programmatically provisioned as thick by the developer by defining it in the storage class. vSAN Direct Configuration will honor this setting and ensure that the persistent volumes created that are associated with that storage class will be thick provisioned. This will help make capacity management easier for developers and administrators alike. Flexibility, performance, and simplicity are just a few words to sum up the capabilities introduced in vSAN 8 Update 1. Through enhancements with HCI Mesh, vSAN 8 Update 1 can separate or disaggregate compute resources in all new ways. Some of our core platform enhancements drive even better performance with workloads on the express storage architecture without adding complexity. And lastly, we've simplified operations in ways that allow environments of all sizes to benefit. For more information about VMware vSAN 8 Update 1, go to core.vmware.com.